Hey everybody, what is up? My name is Tiffany Jenner. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Welcome back or welcome if you're brand new. I am so, so happy you decided to click on this video. So I'm doing a cleaning video. I haven't done a cleaning video in a while, but you know what? My kitchen is a disaster and I really need to tackle it. And I thought I would just bring you guys along with me. So if you're here for cleaning motivation or to hear a story time because I'm gonna talk about some things that happened to me this past week. And if you're curious, then please keep watching. I would love for you to have you here and for you to watch. If you enjoy this kind of thing, give it a like. Thank you for being here and let's okay, get into it. So is everybody ready for the disaster I'm about to show you? So here it is. So I've got a box right here. Let's just say we have a lot of crap. Um, A lot of crap. <laughs> We have leftover hamburger helper, a um, few dishes, not as many dishes as usual, but that's good for us. Um, and there's the box of hamburger helper, and we have salad. I really like this one. Um, all my decor, <laughs> bread, plates, I don't know why the cabinets are open. Um, this is a mess. I mean, like it's so cluttered. Um, and I've always grown up in a home that had a lot of stuff, but I feel like I'm going crazy. So I wanted to tell y'all, we actually got some new appliances from Amazon recently that my husband got. And we put them down here. We cleaned out all the pots and pans. So all this stuff you're seeing right here, uh, this is a bread maker. It's brand new. We got it from Amazon, a bread box, knife set rice cooker all this stuff is new and he put a sheet down there um, but I have all this this is still stuff I want to keep well a few of these things we're going to sell but I need to get rid of it like this is horrible it shouldn't be like this and this is where I keep my cleaning products and it's very disorganized so I'm thinking of moving my cleaning cleaning products and putting them somewhere else <sighs> And my husband said I have refrigerator pollution. Never heard that one before, but it makes sense. Refrigerator pollution. I just have too much stuff going on. It's It actually used to be a lot worse. The floors are dirty. Now I'm going to show you something that most people would try to hide. And I thought about hiding. But we have this like crack on our floor. Um, yeah, the apartment people need to redo our, what do you call it, floors. Um, I just need to go to Home Goods and buy her a rug to put over it because, you know, that's just how it is. So anyway, I'm going to get started and I hope you enjoy the video. Okay, guys, I am starting out with washing the dishes and I just put it in time lapse because there's so many dishes and I'm just trying to speed this up. Um, normally this would be my daughter Penelope's job. Um, I do, I'm starting to have her do some chores. She does the dishes and takes out the trash, but because she's not feeling well tonight, I took this over. Okay, guys, I have cleaned the dishes, and now I'm ready. I got this awesome spray from Dollar General for just a dollar, you guys. I love this stuff. It smells so good, and it's 32 ounces, um, so I'm just spraying off my counters here. As you can tell, they are dirty. And I definitely need to deep clean my sink. That is something, honestly, I don't do as often as I should. And um, I'm using these multi-purpose, um, what do you call them, wipes that I got from Dollar Tree. Um, stop, I'm trying to stop using paper towels and go through so many paper towels. Um, so this really helps because you can re just wash them and reuse them. So really loving this awesome spray. It's really awesome <laughs> and it really does the job good so I'm just kind of getting all this and then I am about to deep clean my sink which like I said is something I really do neglect so to be honest with you guys I don't really deep clean my sink very often which really isn't good <laughs> I know I need to be doing that um, I want to share some products though that I like that I have before I deep clean my sink um, I love these sponges that I get from Dollar Tree. It comes in a pack of three. I think I have some right here. They are scrub buddies. This is a value pack of three. So I use one for the bathroom. This one here. 
And then I picked this up, not really for cleaning dishes, but I picked it up for cleaning my sink. And um, something else, this is also from Dollar Tree. And I want to tell you, I'm very, very impressed with it. I didn't think it would stay, but it does stay. Um, I thought it would be cheap and just come off and it fits when I'm done and there's no dishes in the sink, which is rarely ever. Um, it just sits there really nicely, but I think I'm going to go ahead and give my sink a good deep clean because it surely needs it. Okay, to clean my sink, I'm going to use this dish soap, fresh apple that I get from Dollar Tree. As you can tell, I use a lot of Dollar Tree products. <laughs> And then I'm going to spray with this wonderful, awesome spray that smells like cherry blossom. I decide to do this at nine o'clock at night this is such a big job you guys just got done deep cleaning the sink the dishes are done but it still looks like a wreck in here I'm gonna put all these plastic bags up get all these cleaning products out of here oh, God. hopefully I'll have this done within an hour because my husband comes home in an hour in an hour so Okay guys, so I'm trying to take care of all these plastic bags I have. I am just overrun with them. Every time we go to Dollar Tree or Walmart, which is pretty often, I always try to save the bags. But I think I just way overdo it here. So I'm just filling up this green bag with plastic bags. And the ones I have left over, I'm just throwing out because nobody needs that many plastic bags. Let me know if y'all hang on to plastic bags too. Okay guys, as I am clearing off the counters and just decluttering over here and going to clean my countertops, I wanted to share a little story time with you guys. So, I had a couple of things happen to me this past week and it kind of made me lose my uh, trust in mankind overall, I don't know. Um, so, I've had two things stolen from me this week. Um, it may not be a big deal to some people, but... I don't know, it's just really disappointing, but me and Abigail had put out a bird feeder that my dad had given us. We had finally hung it up on the tree out in front of my mom's um, front yard. We went. I went back um, t two days later, and it was gone. So someone had stole a bird feeder from the yard, which may not seem like a big deal, but 
Abigail really loved the bird feeder and I mean it's a bird feeder why do people feel the need to steal <laughs> I don't know I don't get it um but anyway so as I'm filming this video um so I sell a lot of things on Facebook I have a lot of crap I sell a lot of stuff so I've done porch pickup a few times and if you don't know what porch pickup is it's like where you leave an item on your porch and then people usually put the money in your mailbox or whatever I've only done this two or three other times and I had good experience in the past people always left money in the mailbox and I know this is my own fault for doing this I mean, I should have been more careful and probably not even trusted people, but this girl asked me if these pair of boots were still available. They were my daughter Penelope's, but they didn't fit her anymore, so, you know, it was actually while I was doing this video, and she messaged me and said, could she do porch pickup, and so this is after 9 p.m., and I was just like, I was like, uh, yeah, I guess so. So, I mean, I had good experience before, so I just trusted her. And she said she would put the money in the mailbox. I left the boots. They were a pair of Bear Paw boots. I'm not sure if y'all are familiar with that brand. But they, they were, you know. Anyway, they didn't fit Penelope anymore. And I put them out there in my front. Well, my husband came home an hour later. The boots were gone. And there was no money in the mailbox. So that is the first time that ever happened to me. And I know the fault is mostly mine for trusting someone. But I don't know what ha what's wrong with people these days. They just got to steal. I, I don't get it. Um, it really disappointed me. And I don't know. It just kind of made me feel down for the rest of the night. But um, Oh, by the way, I always try to put my blood pressure medicine up here on my coffee maker. So... That way I can see it because I always want some coffee. And that way I never forget to take my blood pressure medicine because that is kind of dangerous if you forget to take it. So, Okay, this is my very dirty cleaning cabinet, I guess you could say. I'll clean all this stuff out. <laughs> Okay, so as you can tell, I've cleared out a lot of things. Uh, I'll show you what this drawer looks like now. So I put this in here that we haven't used yet, this, my crock pot, and this. I still feel that it looks junky, like I need more space. Okay, so now I need to take care of this refrigerator pollution. Take all this stuff off. i wipe it down with my awesome spray. Um, and probably just have a couple of papers on here. I just think this is way too many. And it looks cluttered. Y'all, that was me when I was a kid. I was cute. But I like the ribbon in my hair. I was kind of stylish. But I am holding a weird, freaky porcelain doll. I don't know, you guys. So, there's my family. <laughs>
Okay, I'm just finishing up my mopping. I love my Swiffer and I, <laughs> just trying to have a good time. But honestly, I was really exhausted. I don't know why I thought that this may be a good, fun thing to do. Um, it should have been a whole day project when my kids were at school instead of me doing it for like two or couple of hours at night. I was so exhausted when I was done. Um, I do feel a sense of accomplishment, but I don't know. I just thought I would, it's just, honestly, it wasn't fun. I don't know why I thought doing the cleaning would be fun, but it surely wasn't. So I was just talking and I realized my phone wasn't recording. Anyway, you guys, I am all done. My floor is clean so I can sit here and I am exhausted. I am, my back is sweating. I just took a shower earlier, but I'm probably going to have to take another bath. Um, cl cleaning the kitchen is a lot of work, especially when you let it get to the point that I did. Um, I want to say thank you if you made it this far. So I thought since I am moving, here's all my cleaning products. Since I'm moving my cleaning products to a different location in my house, I thought that I would go ahead and just share with you guys what I use. Um, my husband is on his way home, so he's probably going to come in, in the middle of this video, but whatever. So anyway, if you want to see what cleaning products I use, which ones I need, what I think, then just keep watching. Okay. Oh. So I got these wet cloths. These are from Target. It is the Up and Up brand. And I use them with my Swiffer. They're just as good as um, Swiffer wipes, so that's what I use. And then I have this Fabric Spring and Renewal for Breeze Spray. I do really like this to use, you know, to make things smell better. Um, I seems it appears to me that I have a lot of oven cleaner. I have one, two three three oven cleaners and are they all the same kind is it all the same brand home store home select these two anyway i know these two are from dollar tree brianna k has used these in her video i really like them um it has a lemon scent it does have a very strong smell so do wear a mask when you're cleaning your oven but i do really like these from the dollar tree and obviously I don't have to go back for a while because I have three containers. Okay, next I have this Home Store Heavy Foam Shower Cleaner. And I really do like this stuff. I believe I got it from Dollar Tree, probably either that or Dollar General. One of those. So I do like this to clean my shower, my bathtub. It works pretty well. Now this thing I really don't use. Grease lightning cleaner and degreaser. I don't remember even using this. I'm not sure if my husband bought this or what, but I never used this, so I don't know. Um, so some good wood cleaner is this Scott's Liquid Gold, and I got it in the. It comes in with a fresh almond scent. It smells so good, you guys, and it does a really good job cleaning. I'm pretty sure these are from Walmart. So once again, I'm good on wood cleaner. Use on furniture, cabinets, doors, baseboards, antiques, even stainless steel and brass. Ooh, I could I could clean my mom's refrigerator with this. I didn't, that's good. And then we got these Glade lavender. This one's lavender and peach blossom. This one's clean linen. These are nice to spray a little bit around the house or when someone goes to the bathroom. You know, you know what I mean. So, yeah, I think these are just a dollar at the dollar store. So. Um, and then I have some good old bleach. Um, usually when I'm, I use, always use this when I'm pretty much cleaning my bathtub or my, um, my bathtub or my toilet. I don't have like a bath, I don't have a toilet cleaner. I just put in dish soap and bleach cleaner and then I scrub. And then I have this little cup that says cat mom. I use, anyway, I keep this sponge in here cause that way I know it's for my bathroom. Obviously, I don't clean my kitchen with the same sponge I clean my bathtub with. And then I have some Raid Ant and Roach Spray. We don't really need this anymore because we don't have a problem with that, but you never know. And then from Dollar Tree, I recently picked up these Brillo Basic Reusable Wipes. Multi-use for every day. 
I really like these, so instead of using paper towels, I can just use these. And then got this at Dollar Tree, this awesome spray for a dollar. Very good stuff. Once again, here's some more awesome spray. You already heard me talk about this, but very good at Dollar General, y'all. 32 ounces. Smells so good when you spray it. And then I have this all-purpose cleaner, the Home Store. I believe this is from Dollar Tree. I don't really like this one. I may throw it out. I just, I don't like it. Okay. I have two glass cleaners. One is from Dollar Tree, this Home Store glass cleaner. It's okay. Definitely not my favorite. Um, but this one for sure is the Sprayway World's Glass Cleaner. I really like to clean the glass with this and also the baseboards. Okay, and then I have Swiffer Dry Heavy Duty. And then these are really heavy. I have the Swiffer Wet Jet for Breeze sprays. And then I have Swiffer Wet Jet Heavy Duty mopping pads. And then I have this Great Value Duster Kit that I got from Walmart. So now, okay guys, I, anyway. So I've got this container here that I've had forever from Dollar Tree. So I'm gonna try to kind of organize um, my cleaners, although I'll need to get another organizer because this isn't enough, so. And I'm going to clean um, this and clean off the products. Most of the time I would do that with a cleaning wipe, but I don't have any cleaning wipes, so I'm going to use a wet cloth, and then I'm going to dry, dry it off with this rag. Mm -hmm. it is now Sunday it is the next day and I want to show y'all how I organized and keep my cleaning products so I'm gonna go ahead and show you that now okay so this is all my cleaning products here got my toilet paper um, both of these containers are from Dollar Tree this one was just a dollar I've had that for years this one I just got today and it's bigger this was five dollars so it's, this was from the Dollar Tree Plus stuff which I hardly ever get from but I needed a big container so I got all of that in there and then I got my other products there so I think it's much neater and a much better area because it's really close to the bathroom so I'm very happy with that so that'll be the end of this video y'all if you liked it please give it a thumbs up and I will see y'all in the next video bye guys